Hello everyone and welcome to the topic on registration under GST law section 22 to section 30 for TY BAF semester 5 the subject taxation 4 indirect taxes 2. I am Mr. John Menezes assistant professor from Bansanga's SMCT College of Science, Commerce and Management Studies Hawaii. The topics that are to be covered in this module are section 22 persons liable for registration, section 23, persons not liable for registration, section 24, compulsory registration in certain cases, section 25, procedure for registration, section 26, deemed registration, section 27, registration by casual or non-resident taxable persons. Section 28, Amendment of Registration Section 29, Cancellation or Suspension of Registration and Section 30, Revocation of Cancellation of Registration Before we move ahead, there are certain GST system statistics as on 18th May published by the GST Council. The registered taxpayers were 1.2 22 crores. The total return filed were 44.42 crores. The total number of payment transactions 13.77 crores. Payment through the portal excluding IGST on imports was 24.13 lakh crores. And the most important, the GST revenue earned for the financial year 2019-2020 was a massive 12 lakhs 22,131 crores. Now why does one register for GST? What are the benefits for registering under GST? Some of them are a legally recognized person as supplier of goods or services or both. You are legally authorized to collect taxes on the supply of goods or services and avail input tax credit of taxes paid. A registered person is also eligible for government bids, contracts or assignments or any other benefits and privileges under the GST laws. Now section 22 deals with persons liable for registrations. Now there are four different categories under this head. So section 22 subsection 1 deals with suppliers who exceed the threshold limit. The aggregate turnover exceeds more than 20 lakhs or 40 lakhs. And the second one of this is the aggregate turnover exceeds rupees 10 lakhs in case of a special category state. Now these two points will be dealt deeply in the coming slides. The second one is section 22 subsection 2 which deals with suppliers who have already registered under earlier laws. Now they can be registered under VAT or under service tax. Now if they are already registered, they are directly liable to register under GST. Section 22 subsection 3 deals with transfer of going concern business or succession in case of death of the owner. Now, in such a case, the transferee is liable to register from the date of transfer or succession of the business. Section 22, subsection 4 deals with amalgamation or demerger by the order of high court or tribunal. Now, in such a case, the transferee is liable to be registered from the date on which the registrar of companies issues certificate of incorporation with effect to the order of High Court. Now, what is aggregate turnover? Now, aggregate turnover, according to Section 2, subsection 6, states that it is the aggregate value of all taxable supplies, which excludes the value of inward supplies on which tax is payable by a person on reverse charge basis. It includes exempt supplies, export of goods or services or both and interstate supplies of persons having the same permanent account number 
to be computed on all India basis, but excludes central tax, state tax, union territory tax, integrated tax, and cess. Now, just listening to it is might very much confusing. Now, to put it in a more simplified manner, this is a specified format. You can call it a simplified format. So, aggregate turnover can be computed as taxable supplies for goods and services, add exempt supplies for goods or services, add nil rate of tax supplies for goods or services, which are rated zero or zero rate of tax. Next is we add zero rated exports or supply to SEZs, which can be goods or services. Add non-GSC supply, which is alcohol for human consumption, petroleum products, electricity, which are not under the ambit of GST. Add interstate supplies, goods or services. Now, adding all this will give you the aggregate turnover. Now, things that are not included in the aggregate turnover are taxes and cess with respect to CGST, SGST, UTGST or IGST Acts, value of taxes payable on reverse charge mechanism, and value of inward supplies of goods and services. Now the limits for registration from 1st April 2019, which was after a notification number 10 of 2019 of Central Tax, New Delhi dated 7th March 2019, the following is the registration threshold limit as prescribed by them. Now, there are three different categories. To start off with, the first one, threshold limit for registration for supplies of ice cream and other edible ice, whether or not containing cocoa, pan masala, tobacco, and manufactured tobacco substitutes. Now, if they belong to the states of Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland, and Tripura. The turnover for them is rupees 10 lakhs. If they belong to remaining states and union territories, the turnover for them will be rupees 20 lakhs. The second one is threshold limit for registration for exclusive suppliers of other goods. Now, when you're computing this, we will consider only those who are supplying exclusively goods which are not covered in the other category. So, in the category of turnover of rupees 10 lakhs, we have Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland, and Tripura. Under the category of turnover of rupees 20 lakhs, we have Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Puducherry, Sikkim. Telangana and Uttarakhand. Now the states which are not in these two categories come under the category of turnover of rupees 40 lakhs, which means the remaining states and union territories will be covered under the aggregate turnover of rupees 40 lakhs. The third one is a threshold limit for registration for suppliers of services, which is only services or it can be goods and services both. So the category under the turnover of rupees 10 lakhs, we have states of Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. Now those apart from these four states, that is the remaining states and union territories come under the category of turnover of rupees 20 lakhs. Now if you see clearly, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura in any of the three cases come under the category of aggregate turnover of 10 lakhs. Thank you and stay tuned for the next topic which will be under section 23 persons not liable for registration.